<laughs> Get yeah. to bed! <laughs> um, how much can we give away about the film? Because uh, it's, uh, there are many plot revelations and twists and turns that you can't really talk about without spoiling the experience. No, it's true. Think. I don't know. It's, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a love story, essentially. At the it's heart, a love right? story, and it's about two people that are torn apart by a lie. Does that give anything away? But it's kind of not a malicious lie as such, is it? Is it well, well, we shouldn't go into that. Isn't it? I don't know, is it? I don't know. You I probably think haven't watched it, have you? No, I have watched it. I've oh, you watched, watched this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you think the people in the Pirates movie feel when they hear this? You didn't bother going to see that. <laughs> I tried to. What do you mean you tried to? I was to? working. It was at the was cinema for the months and months and years. Well, I was working for that whole months and months and years that it was on. So, so when you watch this, when you get caught up in this film, once again, and I, I get the feeling this is a performance you're proud of, and deservedly so, are you as critical of this as you are some of your other Definitely. performances? Definitely. I am as critical. Um, but and I, I'm only in about a third of it, so I can enjoy the rest of it, which is helpful. Um, so you enjoy the things you're, you're not, not anymore? In, yeah. I guess you yeah. relax more then. Yeah. Do you think uh, people, all actors, feel that way, or do you think some just have more of a, a, that kind of attitude, or do you I think you, just, you lose it over time and you get used Johnny to it? Johnny Depp doesn't watch a lot of his films, so I guess he has it. But I don't know. Do they, ha do they have it? Oh, let's not care. Who cares about like those today? They, they, they're not yeah, in your let class, Kira. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adam, time. do you like watching yourself on screen? I can't stop watching this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a look at a clip from Atonement. And once again, it's uh, yeah, it's difficult to set up because I don't want to give too much away. Mm -hmm. But it is uh, a, a, to a man, and there's a kind of uh, there's an awful thing that happens early on, which changes the course of everyone's life involved. Uh, this is Atonement. Let me help with that. I'm all right, thanks. Take the flowers. I'm all right. Take the flowers. I'm all right. I... You idiot. You realise that's probably the most valuable thing we own? Not anymore, it isn't. Careful! I asked Simon these questions earlier, so this is not me being in any way lecherous or sexist, but are you comfortable being naked? You are being quite lecherous. No, not quite, at all. No, because you have to be semi nudy in the film. Um, y yes, I thought you had a big picture of me standing up there. No, we haven't got any naked Good, pictures. thank you very much. We've um, God knows we looked. <laughs> 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 um, no, it's, it's quite embarrassing. There were a lot of people there that day, and um... And do you think, I mean, is it the day when you, you know you didn't see, suddenly there seemed to be more electricians on the set? And, uh, yeah, uh, we did, we, talking about paparazzi, we did have a lot of paparazzi trying to get into the bushes that day, so there were a lot of security men in the bushes, and you'd suddenly see these men with cameras being dragged out. Uh, a film like that, you're, you're going around the world, you're talking about it, you're going to festivals with it, it's obviously something you're, you're very proud of. Yeah, definitely. Is it a deliberate choice in your part that you do a movie like that, a kind of, you know, a more serious movie, a yeah. movie with, with that intent, uh, in between doing films like the Pirates of the Caribbean movie and is your next movie going to be lighter hearted? Do you balance it that way? Um, I try to balance it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, one, once I'd done sort of two years on the Pirates films, I sort of really needed to do something that was very different. And they were great, but... It must be a different sort of acting. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's completely different. You know, the, the Pirates films, you're kind of like an action figure, which is lovely, but it, it's really nice to do something that's sort of emotionally way more involving. When you make one like Atonement, like when you're going into, uh, is it harder work? I know that might sound stupid, but is it physically harder work because you're emotionally giving something during the daytime? Or I is think it... it's, it's very rewarding because actually if, if you do... I'm going to sound like such a wanker. If you do feel very drained emotionally, then you know that you've kind of done a good job. Yeah, but no, I, 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 I understand because when I see people on stage, and I'm not a big theatre goer, but when I see a, a tremendous performance on stage, I think that must be exhausting because it's yeah. kind of, they're going through all this angst for your pleasure. I think that's kind of what most actors want to do, though, in a really perverse, horrendous way. But that's terrible, really, isn't it? Is it? It shows them in a terrible light. Well, it's true, though. Emotional show-offs. Yes, yeah. emotional show-offs, yeah. Uh, but having a father's an actor as well, was that why you wanted to do what you do, or is that just a uh, coincidence? Um, yeah, I should imagine it probably is why I want to do what I do. So how old are you now, Kira? 
You shouldn't ask a lady how old she well, is. Well, you're only a, a kid, so I'm 22. Uh, and so you were born in the 80s? I was born in the 80s. Christ, that makes me feel old, Chinder. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been professionally working as an actor? Since I was 15. Well, well you really have churned them out, though, haven't you? Because you've made yeah. a lot of movies in that period. Well, yeah, I sort of started when I was seven, but I only did little things in the summer holidays. Okay. And then, 50, well, 16, I left school. Okay. And I have churned them out, yes. Uh, but I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean you really worked really hard. I mean, you know, you, you've been, I would have yeah. thought, pretty relentless. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it, if it's offered to you, you might as well take it. Yeah, well, so if you want to do it. If you want to do it, yeah. Uh, we have a clip of you when you were very young in a... In a I'm not sure it was a oh, movie no, or made really? for TV thing now. Uh, it was, I think it was called A Royal Celebration. That was my... That's, I'm seven. In this You're seven event. years old. This was my first ever job when I was seven. Wow. Yeah, okay. thanks. Kira. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, no one's going to judge you for when you were seven, but it's... Aren't they? No! <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Kira Knightley in, uh, what's it called again? A, a Royal, Royal Celebration. Celebration. Okay, uh, and uh, it's a good performance. I like Thanks, it. Thanks, nice. It's nice. It's all right, come on. Oh, what is this? Just sit down. I've watched this crap all morning. Shut up. Wait. Oh, look, what is this? Just take a look at this. History button. Some of the good and lasting things that so often get um, forgotten in our anxious just world. Watch it. Hope, and love, and new beginnings. It's why we always yeah, have and why probably we all shall. Wait. And in wishing their royal highnesses the What am I meant to be seeing? Look, it's coming. Here, 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 here. Oh, wow, is that it? Everybody's been Look, look, it's Dad there. Shit, it is Dad. A good performance. I, I didn't really say very much. No, you didn't I? say much, but you were doing a lot I was of acting. Uh, did you, but you knew then that you wanted this to be your career, or was that your parents asked you to do that? How no, did that... no, I was, um, I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was six, oh. and, um, and this amazing guy called David Cooper, who was the headmaster at my school, said to my mum, look, you need to find a way of making her work, so give her what she wants, and, uh, and I wanted an agent, so she got me an agent, and I was only allowed to oh, work. So how old were you when you said you wanted an agent? Apparently I was three. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's what growing up with a dad who's an actor yeah, does. Yeah, you know? I guess so. Because I wouldn't even know about agents when I was... I don't think I knew what one did really. I think they were just phoning the house and I wanted one. I have one who takes 15%. I don't know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lovely bloke. He's a very talented bloke. Um, now, you, you, you're wearing a beautiful... I believe you're wearing Chanel. I am wearing because Chanel. Because you are involved with Chanel. Is this the whole... the, the, the perfume Chanel you're yeah. involved with, not the clothing? Or is no, it not the clothing. It's Coco Mademoiselle. And now, here's a beautiful picture of you looking beautiful. Again, it, with my clothes you, off. Well, kind of semi-off there. Yeah. Uh, and that's a bowler hat, which you don't see bowler hats so much anymore. I, I've got days. a bowler hat. Have you? Well, I, I can see it. You're wearing yes, it in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this, this, as this photograph now, uh, sometimes I know they touch, they retouch photographs. They make people look curvy and different. Have they retouched that in any way? I don't know. I should think so. They normally retouch all of them. And in do some you have way. any say over that, or you? you no. Don't? Okay, because we have one here which we were sent in by mistake earlier. Now, and I oh said, wow! No, that can't be. That's much better. It's not much better. No, it is. It's but much better. But one of the reasons better. why I, I love seeing you on screen is because <laughs> that you're so many actresses these days have breasts that they've bought, you know what I mean? And they don't look like normal people anymore. A lot of young actresses, and I'm not going to ask you necessarily to get involved in this discussion, right. but you know what I mean? And uh, I admire the fact that you have not well, Have not so, had yes. breasts put in. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the nicest thing that's been said to you it's today? I'd like to nice congratulate thing. you for not having breasts put in. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that to come out the way you perhaps had it, but right, okay. you know what I'm saying, and there's a lot of pressure for performers to look a certain way and be a certain way, and you have resisted that admirably. Thank and I you. I suspect that's your upbringing as much as anything else. Absolutely. Okay. I, or, or maybe just a fear of having people stuff things in my tits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why that would bother one. Yes. Uh, Kira, it's been lovely to see you this evening. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the tournament. I think you and James together, you light up the screen. It's a great pairing. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the next movie, even though it sounds just as heart-wrenching. I'd like you to make something a bit lighter in the near future. Okay, I'll well, talk to possibly. Simon or maybe Adam about that then. Let's put the, let's okay. have a threesome <laughs> in cinema terms. Uh, <laughs> lovely to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kira Knightley. Thank you, Kira. That was lovely. Are you going to stay for the music? Or? Thanks to all of my guests tonight. Kira, of course, Simon Pegg and Adam Sandler. Next week I'll be joined by the great Quentin Tarantino, Style Bullies, Trini and Suzanne.